This protocol is uniquely significant because it's a non-invasive means of assessing intracarbonyl pressures in the leg. This can be important when evaluating an injured extremity which may be at risk for compartment syndrome, a limb-threatening condition. As intercompartmental pressures rise, the perfusion of the structures within the compartment decreases, leading to an ischemic insult. If elevated pressures are not identified and treated quickly, the compartment dies, resulting in permanent disability. The primary advantage of this technique is its non-invasiveness. Currently, the only means by which to measure intercompartmental pressure is by inserting a large bore needle equipped with a pressure gauge into the leg compartment. While reliable, this technique is quite uncomfortable to the patient and is not suitable for performing serial measurements. For someone first trying this technique, I would recommend that they first practice the technique on a volunteer. Learning the amount of pressure to apply and interpreting the ultrasound images can be difficult at first. To begin this procedure, identify a starting site for the ultrasound probe. Place the probe directly over the anterior compartment, just lateral to the tibial crest, and one handbreadth distal to the tibial tubercule. Next, identify the fascia, which is the bright white strip just below the subcutaneous tissue on the ultrasound. Move the probe until the fascia is seen at the point where it attaches to the tibial crest. Note the geometry of the fascia. With minimal pressure applied, this should be a convex shape. Once the fascia of the anterior compartment is identified, apply slow and steady pressure to the ultrasound probe until the fascia changes shape.